prison documentary I hope men will watch. Hi, I'm Ed Riggins, but most people just call me Riggo, and welcome back to Thoughts for Thursday. Since I've spent my career in a male-dominated field, one of the great joys in this season of my life is how much time I get to spend talking about career success with women. When I'm speaking with women, or men either for that matter, we seem to spend a lot of time one way or the other talking about how much emotional and relational intelligence impact career success. I opened a keynote address about emotional intelligence that I was delivering to a women's group by saying, hey, I'm a dude here to talk to a bunch of women about my feelings. What could go wrong? Of course, the line got a pretty good laugh. But I like to invest my three minutes this week to talk to dudes. Specifically, I'd like to talk to dudes about how we deal with fear and sadness. The headline is, most of the time we don't. Often our fear and sadness are almost instantly transformed into anger. This is not good for us, and this is not good for society at large. The researcher Brene Brown has made it very clear that there are strong societal disincentives for men when it comes to showing vulnerability with emotions like fear and sadness. This research demonstrates something men know almost instinctively. The documentary I'm recommending that you watch is about 90 minutes long, and it will be time well spent. It will bring you face to face with some of the most badass dudes you've ever seen. It will show how really terrible things happen when men turn militantly away from their sadness and fear and act out violently from a place of rage. It will also show you the societal payoff when skilled and caring people teach men how to deal with their emotions constructively. Thanks to some good luck and good choices, I've never spent any time in prison. And yet I was deeply moved on multiple occasions about how much I could relate to the emotional struggles of these men and I was awed by the courage they exhibited. The documentary I'm talking about is called The Work. I first saw it in 2017 at the Chicago International Film Festival. I was so moved, I immediately wrote a check to support their efforts to distribute the movie. And it was a check with a comma in it. They filmed the whole thing inside Folsom Prison. You can rent it on several of the popular streaming platforms, and I've added a link so you can watch the trailer. Please, please, guys, check this out. Thanks for joining me.